For more first drive vehicle reviews like this one, make sure you subscribe to the autoguide.com YouTube channel and hit that bell. I've got a question. Would you ever consider owning a Lincoln? Well, just a few short years ago, the answer would have probably been absolutely not. The brand had no compelling products and was probably living on borrowed time. But today, things are dramatically different, especially now that the reborn Aviator SUV has been cleared for takeoff. This three-row utility vehicle cements the Lincoln brand's ongoing renaissance. It proves their other recent successes like the MKX crossover, now rebranded Nautilus, and the excellent new Navigator weren't flukes. After years of fumbling, Ford's longtime luxury division is finally on the road to recovery. Lincoln has defined its brand identity, charted a course forward, and even has some decent vehicles to sell. Speaking of product, ever since it debuted in concept form at the 2018 New York Auto Show, the Aviator has been Lincoln's most anticipated launch in, well, probably decades. And now we finally get to see if this utility vehicle lives up to all the hype. Based on the Ford Explorer and built alongside it in Chicago, the Aviator looks completely different than its blue oval sibling. In fact, the two vehicles share zero exterior body panels, though, of course, many of those underskin components are common between the two. Aside from the styling, Aviator is differentiated from the Explorer in many important ways. It offers much more advanced technology. It has a higher maximum tow rating, up to 6,700 pounds when properly equipped. Plus, it can be had with a performance-tuned plug-in hybrid drivetrain that provides up to 630 pound-feet of torque. Still, it's what's inside that will turn many prospective buyers into paying customers. Borrowing heavily from the Navigator, Aviator's cabin is excellence incarnate, regardless of trim level. It's tastefully executed, and the materials are of high quality. A 10.1-inch display is standard, as is a slew of advanced driver assistance tech. The usual suspects like blind spot monitoring, lane keeping assist, and automatic high beams. Further accentuating the premium feel, Lincoln worked with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra to create custom alert sounds for 25 different vehicle functions, things like the door ajar or seatbelt warnings. Speaking of sound, several audio systems are available in the Aviator. The pinnacle offering is a rockin' 28-speaker Revel Ultima 3D unit that probably has more processing power than an Amazon server farm. Providing enhanced comfort, Lincoln's signature and borderline overkill 30-way adjustable perfect position front seats are available. Spend the time to get them set just right, and you should be sublimely comfortable even on cross-country drives. As with other Lincolns, super premium black label themes will also be offered. Three are on the menu, including Flight, which features tan and ebony leather with beautiful engine-turned accents for a technical look. Destination features mahogany-hued leather and kaya wood trimmings for a more traditional, though no less luxurious, feel. Finally, chalet is perhaps the boldest combination, with high-contrast espresso and white cowhides. As I touched on earlier, two flavors of Aviator are available. You can get a conventional internal combustion-powered model or a grand touring plug-in hybrid version. Now, the standard model features a 3-liter twin-turbocharged V6 that delivers a stout 400 horsepower with 415 pound-feet of torque, and it's bolted exclusively to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, grand touring versions take that same engine and gearbox, but they add a 
75 kilowatt electric motor and a 13.6 kilowatt hour battery pack and all told they are graced with 494 horses and 630 pounds of torque. Now that lithium ion battery pack takes about three to four hours to charge if you use a level two charger. However, if you plug this thing into a standard 110 volt household outlet, plan on budgeting about 10 hours to fill that battery up. Aviator is available with either rear or all wheel drive. Now black label and grand touring variants do come standard with four corner traction. But now let's talk about fuel economy. A rear wheel drive aviator should sticker at 18 miles per gallon city, 26 highway, and 21 MPG combined. Naturally, if you opt for all wheel drive, those figures are going to be degraded slightly, dropping to 17, 24, and 20 respectively. As for the Grand Touring variant, well, no official EPA figures have been released just yet, but I've got to imagine it's going to do better than the standard all wheel drive version. Also, EV range for the Grand Touring has not been officially published, but I have it on good authority that it should be right around 18 miles of battery only driving. As expected these days, a variety of driving modes is offered, up to seven in fact. Now, standard aviators feature five. You've got normal, which is great for everyday use. There's conserve, which saves fuel. Excite is sort of like the sport mode. Then you've got slippery, which works well on snow and ice. And then deep conditions, which is sort of for off-road driving. Now, grand touring models add two modes on top of those five, again, for a total of seven. And you get pure EV, which allows the vehicle to run solely on battery power and there's also another one called preserve EV which allows you to save battery so let's say you've got to take a long highway drive down to a city center a downtown you can preserve the electrons in the battery for use when they're more efficient in a congested urban area also preserve EV allows the engine to charge the battery pack up to 75 percent Beyond all the standard driver assistance features, you can also get Lincoln Copilot 360 Plus, and this includes things like traffic jam assist, evasive steering assist, reverse brake assist, and active park assist. All of the assists you could ever want! Giving customers plenty of choice, various suspension technologies are offered in this vehicle. Standard, of course, you've got steel springs, but from there you can upgrade to an adaptive system with continuously controlled damping. Beyond that, there's an adaptive air glide suspension with road preview, which actually features a forward facing camera that scans the road surface up to 50 feet ahead, and that allows the suspension to adjust to different road conditions, any dips or bumps in the surface to deliver the smooth this ride possible. All right, so those are the facts, but how does this thing actually drive? Well, from the moment you open a door and sit behind the wheel, the aviator impresses. I was frankly blown away by this interior. I mean, I sat in here and I started poking around. It's really good, and it's not really good with a caveat, like it's really good for a Lincoln, it's really good for an American car. I think it's really good full stop. This interior is beautifully done, especially if you get one of the limited edition black label trims. As for performance, this thing is entirely competent, which is exactly what I would expect given its Ford Explorer bones. And of course, with a standard stable of 400 horsepower, you are never wanting for acceleration in this new Aviator. And that's especially true when you're behind the wheel of a Grand Touring variant. Thanks to all of that torque, that instantaneous electric twist, they just scoot, they surge ahead when you bury the accelerator pedal. Of course, there is so much more to the 2020 Lincoln Aviator than I have time to cover in this first drive review, from its phone as key technology to the available adaptive pixel LED headlamps. But how much does all of this luxury cost? Well, the Aviator starts at $52,195, including $1095 in delivery fees. Check every options box on a black label Grand Touring model, and you'll have no problem spending more than 90 grand. All right, at this point, I will ask again, now that you've watched my review, would you consider parking a Lincoln in your garage? Well, I certainly would, especially this 2020 Aviator, which I think is going to be an absolutely transformative product for this brand.
And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the autoguide.com YouTube channel to get all of our latest features and vehicle reviews.